Howdy, Tom here. Today we're going to show you how to rip a rear axle out of a rock saw. So, first thing you got to do is get this off. It don't come off easy the first few times. So, I went and bought one of these guys. What is this? 10 ton Harbor Freight Polar. Get that 40 pound thing out of the way. I already popped this free. There you go, put it on there. Jack on it, comes off. So, then you're down to this. Oh, you 14 millimeter bolts all the way around, which I already pulled most of them. Just gotta take nuts and washers off. So, one thing they do is they just put a lock washer on each side bolts right here. Now, I noticed it was tearing up this piece, so I went ahead, since I've had it apart several times, I went ahead and put a flat washer on every one. So, it seems like it should need one. Oh, uh, and then these guys, well, a little persuasion here. It, that's what is tearing up all the way around there. That's why you need those washers. So, find yourself something over here to rest this on. You're gonna pop this out. Set these aside, lay this down. With this brake thing sticking up, so no more brake fluid runs out. There ain't much in there, but there's a little bit. It'll get on you. All right, now we got the spacers. So, you want these going the exact same way. So just go ahead and lay them on there. Just how they go. Piece of cake. Well, we got a few more on here. That looks like all of them from this side. Then we're gonna need the nut. Oh, so, hit my head right there, that was lovely. Now well, you thread the nut back on. Get her on there a little way. You don't want to strip her out. This is the polar I'm using. You whatever polar you want. But you just put these things around here. It ain't super complicated. You got to hold them on. There she be. Axles out. Looks like I had plenty full, running fluid all over my floor. All right, y'all have a good day now.